And speaking of that opening, there is a quick other opening before that those 10 minutes of, of Noah where we see Caesar for one final time, which yeah, sure. completely took me by surprise. Um, when in the process did you come up with that idea? Was that from the start you knew you wanted to do that? Yeah, that was the very beginning. We needed to do that because when we're talking to people who were fans of the movies, you'd be so shocked how many just average audience members forgot Caesar died. I, with the amount of comments you know, I've seen saying, so I'm not as surprised. Yeah, and, and, and the truth is with these movies, it's not enough to get just the diehard fans. You have to get, which I think we did, we have to get people that are just casually interested in these movies, right? Um, and so that was, a, that was a key scene for me, just to kind of nothing else to remind people Oh yeah, there was you know there, there was this character that I loved, and I never really got to see his end. I saw him close his eyes, and then we tilt up to the sky, and we you know imagined the world beyond that. It felt like this the right send off to kind of hey, we're coming from this crazy world, this amazing world with these characters that we love, you know, and then how that transfers us into this this world where he's become myth and legend. You know what I mean? And that idea of in fact, we had another scene where 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 Raka talks about these ideas where that scene is really about, you know, um, about Caesar who, who, you know, that night became a legend. You know what I mean? His ashes, you know, his, his body, his spirit was sent to the sky, to the stars. You know what I mean? And Rocket talks about that in, in a deleted scene, you know, how this almost spirituality was born, you know, hundreds of years later, you know, stemming from this event. In fact, that one young ape, Cornelius, whoever you want it to be, I don't really say, um, you know, it's all about the reflection in his eyes and how that I love that idea of like this young ape witnessing this kind of event, you know, a send off that's probably never happened for an ape before. You know what I mean? He's going to remember this day for the rest of his life. And this yeah. story is going to echo throughout the ages. You know what I mean? And I love that kind of concept to start the movie that way in this very kind of mythic way. And then how that would, you know, take us, you know, to this completely different world of you know waterfalls and water and 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 and, and wild lands that turns out to be oh you know the, the remains of our civilization it's just like a perfect kind of time cut you know what i mean um in fact the, the one thing that actually was very late added in the game was a little text um beginning right so the very opening kind of prologue stuff with the text because there were just too many audience members that did not know uh context for how we fit into the previous movies right they just they, they like those movies but they don't they don't remember them you know so we needed to we don't hand it uh holding people's hand we don't sit down and talk about this great past and myth in any kind of significant way so that little opening prologue thing which was you know i think war did it too i think a couple movies have done it um it just served as a great kind of intro for for the average audience member who didn't really know a lot and just you know we wrestled over what those lines were for for the longest time but you know um but yeah just all kind of an effort just to kind of you know take this giant swing that we did which was you know cut 300 years later and forget all the characters that you thought you, that you love you know what i mean it was just it was a pretty bold experiment to kind of you know take that giant leap you know what i mean so yeah um, it's a yeah. and it's a big risk too because you're reminding everyone of this incredible character and then jumping forward into okay here's here's yeah. my turn you know yeah but it's also kind of crucial in a way because very much caesar is this kind of spiritual element hanging over the entire movie right you know there's 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 obviously hints visual hints all over the place you know about you know noah and how he you know you know literally or or, or figuratively kind of you know um kind of fits into that spirit of caesar you know what i mean um and so it, it was kind of crucial to kind of establish some kind of visual some memory of 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 what he was, you know, as we kind of move forward into thinking of him as this kind of mythic figure, you know.